Hey guys, Grande here, also known as MMM Bolt on Xbox Live. Uh, if you're ever on the one and you want to play, just hit me up. Uh, a lot of questions recently about why I believe the one is better than the 360 and also the PS4. Uh, I think the specs of the PS4 and the one are pretty much the same thing, so it really comes down to features, comes down to whether you want to be strictly gaming or if you want to control your whole living room. Uh, so I'm going to start off with some subtle features and then we'll go into the uh, UI of how the system works and I'll try some uh, real life situations so you can see how much it, it all loads and, and uh, kind of compare it to what you saw with Microsoft's reveal and everything. Here are the two controllers. Or This one is the one controller. It's the day one edition. Got the shiny D-pad. That's really all that uh, was changed with it. And then you got just the day one 2013 on it. Um, in relation to the 360, I mean, it's pretty much about the same size. You can see subtle shape differences. Um, I like the One controller a lot better than the 360. The, the triggers really are what shape it differently now. Uh, the, the right bumpers are right here, right and left bumpers, and then you got the triggers. The, the response on the triggers is awesome. Uh, we've had some debate on whether the joysticks alone are taller than the 360. I've got some control freaks that are going to be coming on the way. So uh, whenever I'll get those, I'll, it'll be my first time using them. So we'll see how they, how they are. Uh, and then if you get a second controller, this is just the basic controller. Just no day one and regular D-pad. But the missus likes to play, so I had to get another controller. Uh, then we'll go look at the system now. If you'll notice, the system is huge. All right, so here's a, a black, I believe it's the uh, second gen, I could be wrong, uh, 360 system on top of the one. I mean, you can see how thickness, they're pretty close, but I mean, overall, girth of the system is just huge. So uh, you'll see my Sprint Air Raven router right there. But uh, so it took some definitely real real estate space on my bookshelf to control it all. Alright so now we're gonna get the Xbox to turn on we'll see uh, how everything all works out and everything so let's see if I can do it. Xbox on. Alright so you'll see that the Xbox turned on it's current gonna turn on my cable box right to the left of it turns on the TV. I'm gonna bring the camera a little bit lower than my face so you saw it automatically sign me in and everything and there's the UI so right there now when you're giving commands you can't be talking and then just give a command because it'll make sure that you're not saying Xbox in your conversation so you don't confuse it so every time you give a command you gotta pause a little bit Xbox select so there it made all the words green and everything so I can give a certain command without having to say the word Xbox. Pins. So there's all my pins. I've got Upload Studio, Skype, Netflix, all that other good stuff. Home. Go back to home. There's all my other stuff. And now if I want to get an app, store. Xbox select store so right there there's a little bit of hiccup and stuff I mean so far so good I haven't had too many problems but there was one time I said uh, off and, and it kept saying pause so you'll have it that's why I'm showing you this video you see how how much works and how much doesn't work so let's go ahead and try some other features Xbox select Call of Duty Ghosts so there it loaded ghosts right after the command and everything it's, I make it load up to the multiplayer just because that's really all I play um, now here's some of the cool features Xbox snap TV So now I got the TV up in the top right corner. I can change channels. All I have to do is say the command. Um, and I can actually control 
the game while playing or while watching TV. So I did this yesterday while watching the Colts game, of course. I unsnapped the TV when uh, the Colts started losing pretty bad. Um, Xbox, Switch. So that right there switched the control of what I'm controlling. So now I'm actually controlling Call of Duty. So I'll grab the controller. And there you go. So I've got full control over it. Xbox, unsnap TV. Xbox, go home. So now I'm back at the home. Now this is really how the whole interface runs. It's just like Windows. I'm sure everybody else has uh, had a little bit of Windows 8 uh, in real life now. So everything is run from the Metro, Metro UI. There's no more menus. Even if I push the Xbox button on the controller, it'll bring me back to this. It's similar to how Windows 8 runs with the start menu. If you go to down, down to the start button, it brings you back to here. So this is kind of your start screen for the Xbox. Um, this is how you load all anything and everything. Um, some other voice, I'll go over some other voice commands so you can see all that other uh, jazz. Xbox, invite. So if I'm in a game, this is how I invite people to a party. Start party. And then from there, I can uh, select invite, turn on party chat. Now, every time you go into a party, you have to turn on party chat. If you don't, they will not be able to hear you and you will not be able to hear them. It's kind of a finicky way, but uh, I've gotten used to it and everything. Uh, another, another thing is that they do not have voice messages on the one. Yes, you can send a voice message to each other on 360. But uh, they do not have voice messages on the one. Hopefully they will update that in a patch that will probably come in the first quarter of 2014. Um, so the snap feature is great. I love being able to control the game but also do stuff on the side. Xbox, go home. And you can see how quickly everything runs. I mean, I, it, there's some hiccups here and there. I mean, if you don't give the right command or if you... If you give it while after a conversation, you'll, you'll see that it, uh, it doesn't work real well. But so far, I've had very, very few problems. Xbox, select. Friends. Xbox, unsnap. We'll get rid of that party there. So there's all my friends. This is the new friends feed. It lets you know what someone's doing when they do it. It's uh, kind of a quick way to see if anybody's playing or anything. As you can see, I have a bunch of friends on 360. I cannot do anything with them while they're on the 360. There is no cross-platform between the two systems. I'm pretty sure it's the same way with the PS4 also. So it sucks. Um, I've got another friend, MMM Naughty. Uh, some of you may have played with him. Uh, me and him have been playing together on the one. That's really all I can do. Uh, we really have no other choice because there's nothing cross-platform between the two systems. I can, I, the only thing that we can do to another friend that's on a 360 is actually send them a text message with words. We can't even send voice messages. And any voice messages that we receive from a 360 uh, can only be played on a 360. So there's some downsides to that. But we'll go over some of the stuff here in the friends Xbox, select. So you'll see uh, game DVR and everything. That, that stuff is great. I mean, you can actually record. And there's a favorite one. Go back. Go back. We'll get out of that. So that's really uh, all of that. And you see how if you're talking and then don't give enough pause, a command won't work. There's me using hands to talk, so... Uh, I gotta stop doing that. Um, anything else? I mean, if you have any questions, I can show you. Uh, Xbox, select. Pins. So all those...